previously on Alien Colonial Marines. What do you want from me? Think hard. Make sure you don't leave anything out. I've told you everything I know. Are you completely sure? I don't know where the message is. <sighs> Y'all bit his ass. Now one's gonna come and get his ass. Watch. Oh shit. Well, that works too, I guess. Yep, you're fucked. Is that one kind of like the leader of the pack or something? has dropped way below a critical threshold. I don't think my safety's a top priority. The loss of the Legato was unfortunate. So many specimens. There were families aboard that ship. I said it was unfortunate. It's only unfortunate that you lost your specimens. On the contrary, lucky for you, some managed to escape. Didn't they? Is this it? It looks like the right sequence. Run the full cycle. We don't want him to go into shock. I think this is it. Anything yet? That's it. He's coming too. Listen up, uh, Corporal. Corporal Hicks, we got you. Just a few more seconds for the cycle to finish. No. Hang on, Corporal. Whoa, I got you. Check the chamber. Guys, we got company. Stasis interrupted. That guy's useless. Launch will commence in T minus. Oh, looks like that is fucking no. No. Nothing else can be done here. Now you can bet they're sending something more than these piss ants to find out what just went down. Corporal, we need to go.
to play? Corporal, I know you've got a lot to come to grips with right now. But where is the rest of your crew? You're looking at it. And yeah, you could say that. Last thing I remember is going into hypersleep after losing my entire unit and escaping a planet overrun with monsters straight out of your worst nightmares. Now I wake up to your smiling face. Armed men trying to kill me in one of those things wrapped around her face. Look, I'm sorry for your loss. I really am. But we're tethered to a boat crawling with those things as part of some corporate <clears throat> experiment gone bad. And they don't look to be wanting any outside eyes peering in. They're heavily armed and don't seem to have any issue killing anyone in their way. If we don't get word out, they're gonna bury this thing and all of us with it. What's your name? Samwell. Samwell Stone. Well, Stone, we're gonna need stronger firepower than this. There's a security checkpoint on the next deck. We can gear up there. Follow me. Alright, so we just got this piece of shit and a pistol. Okay, so welcome back to the next episode of Stasis Interrupted. So, I'm guessing because since there's visions of Ripley in Alien 3 um, getting, getting ready to take her own life, I'm assuming this is going to lead up to that or um, Hicks gathers information of where they're going going after after the events of LV426 when this all said and done before the Marines actually um, rescue him from the main story of Aliens Colonial Marine. That's what I'm assuming. <clears throat> and you oh so I'm not playing as Tix, I'm playing as the other guy. That's interesting. Hold on. Boy, either these guns really suck or this gun needs to be recalibrated properly because I got the iron sights lined up and it's barely doing anything. Anyways, what I was about to say is out of all the alien movies I've watched, which is I've seen all four of them, and out of all the alien based games I've played, oh, hold on. Stick your head up. And out of all the aliens based games I played, whether it's just aliens in general or AVP games, I would say out of all the chestburster scenes I've ever seen, obviously I think Kane from the very first alien movie was probably the most painful. And then the chick Lizbeth that we just played as in the previous chapter, I think hers was the second most painful chestburster scene I've ever witnessed. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section. Alright, so two audio logs. I think we only found one when we were Elizabeth. I don't remember. So uh, I highly doubt that would be dog tag since we're not playing as a Marine. What branch did you serve in? Come again. You showed some real skills back there. I was gunnery sergeant, USCM. Well, good work then. That was a different life. Let's just stick with stone. Hmm. Don't want to accept your US, USCM career anymore or what? You just want to be acknowledged as just stone, that's it? I respect that. I mean, once I'm done with... Ripley. Was she someone special? We went through a lot together. You know, there's still a chance we can save her. I mean, once I'm done with my time in the military, I'm just gonna only, I only care to be preferred, I still only prefer to be cared, uh, uh, called by my regular name. I don't, by the time I retire, I'm not gonna give two shits about what rank I retired as or anything like that. I am just back to being a normal person. It just drives me up the wall when I was an airman in my earlier career, especially when I worked in the metal field, having all these people saying, oh, this is so-and-so retired. I don't give, your rank don't, I mean, 
not to try to sound disrespectful, but since I've done my time in the military, I have all right to say this. But it's like, I don't, your rank doesn't mean shit anymore since you are retired. You are just a normal, average Joe. Oh shit. You are no one unique. That's the reason why it makes me laugh when people say, oh well, he's still a colonel. He may be retired, but he still maintains that rank. Fuck that. You are Mr. So and so now. You are not nobody special. Come on. Come on. This gun sucks. I mean, there's no way I could be this bad. Especially when I got the iron. See, iron sights. There we go. Now it wants to register. Thank you, Hicks, for taking care of that last one. Pick up some, oh, we're full. Oh, well, we don't even have a shotgun ammo, so it's just shotgun ammo. That makes no sense. All right, so instead of, you would think for DLC, we'd be playing as Hicks, not just, you know, beside him or anything like that. But I mean, whatever. I mean, this is a different, Different, uh, interesting way of, of a DLC, but not gonna complain. Ooh, shooting. There's an armor right there. Oh, oh shit. Can I get a pulse rifle, goddammit? Better gear up. Yep. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm guessing something big is about to about to go down if there's there's a whole room full of armor here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dropship hangers are too obvious. Check the EEV access. More iron sights. I hate iron sights. Okay. Where are you going to go? Oh, right here. <clears throat> Looks like they've locked them all down. Damn it. What about the service skip in engineering? Looks clear. Head for engineering and ready the skiff. I'll secure an uplink and meet you there. It's funny, for a grunt, he knows what he's doing. <clears throat> Go around, I'm assuming, or oh no, I guess we're going back. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Thought we had to go around or something. I don't know why I thought something would be in there. Nothing here of interest. Up oh, there's an audio log right there. Nothing in that toolbox. I guess that's uh, Newt leaving a little message for Corporal Hicks for when they uh, woke up, assuming they arrived safely, even though she did, unfortunately. I was really interested on how that, is it Robert Blokamp or whatever, that was supposed to be, apparently had a script and everything for a, hold on. like a I guess an alien 3 reboot that would replace the current alien 3 timeline the current alien timeline with the replacing alien 3 with the more recent one with I feel like one of those what if things where if uh, Newt Hicks and Ripley go. all survive and Newt was supposed to see all going up fighting the aliens along with Ripley and Hicks 
I thought that was an interesting concept when I first read about that. Shame that nothing happened with it, or I think it got canceled or something. He's down. <clears throat> but I am still looking forward to Alien Romulus when it comes out, as this video is being recorded. Oh, what the hell? Maybe they might have a chest burst or scene that might be more painful than the two that I've already mentioned earlier. I'd have to watch um, Alien Covenant again, but I don't think I recall the... I'm pretty sure it was not as painful as the top two that I've listed, but I think the backburster scene from Alien Covenant was also pretty mentioned, it was also, I'd say, uh, pretty agonizing to watch as well. Or, you know, if I was in that person's shoes, obviously. And then, nothing really significant in Prometheus. Okay, head out. He dropped like a fly. At least the uh, in the AI on these characters aren't like the AI in um, the Fear games. When they see like your flashlight on, they're just like flashlight, and then all of a sudden they'll just fucking lob a grenade in your in your direction and not even think about it. All right, what else is there? <clears throat> okay, let's... Are there aliens loose? I hear something. Fuck him up, alien. I was hoping to take two of you out with two of you out at the same time, but I guess not. I'm pretty sure there's not- Oh, shit! I didn't hear you, but something told me to turn around really quick. I mean, the, the music was still playing, so that was kind of one sign that shit was still going down. Okay, no audio log in here. Stone, the uplink is no good. But I did manage to pull my after action report before getting locked out of the system. <coughs> Get this out, and they're finished here. The skiff only supports short range communication. We need a long range uplink. Well, it looks like we're in luck there. The telemetry of the jettisoned EEV shows that it tracked to a planet called Furina 161. There's a penal colony there. They must have a long range communication uplink. Ripley's EEV? Problem is, soon we're gonna be out of range for the service skiff to make the trip. I guess we better move our asses then. See you in engineering, Corporal. Fiorina. I thought it was Fury 161, or is or unless Fiorina is the longer longer name. Or the full name, I should say, but I thought it was just Fury 161. I don't know, it's been a while I'd have to watch Alien 3 again, but I could have sworn it's just Fury 161, not Fiorina. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys who are real diehards, or full-on diehards, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section. That's so before we go there, nothing. Alright, oh, there's an audio log right there, so let's go check it out really quick. See what else there is. This is a status update from Bishop 341B. Prior to their hibernation, <clears throat> I attempted to develop a rapport with the Marines. Though my questions about their personal lives have been met with derision, they seem to be particularly fond of physical displays. Private First Class Hudson was extremely pleased with my prowess with a knife. This method of emotional bonding may warrant further investigation. <laughs> so this is his way of, uh, learning what uh, interests humans because since he's a oh shit the fuck i 
That pro damn, I wish I had my x ray glasses on, man. That would have been probably ten oh shit. That probably would have been ten times a lot louder and more of a reaction if I had my x ray air glasses on for this recording. I wish I had would have done that, but too late for that now. But that was still a pretty good fucking reaction. I was not expecting that shit. Okay, so this game does does got some pretty decent jump scares for more of an action game. I thought the only scary thing was those goddamn fucking face huggers. Not sure if he, I took him down or not. I'm guessing I did because he didn't come back around. Or he fell down in the shitter, but I doubt that. Alright. For an action game, I have to give that one to him. I was not expecting that from just a regular alien jump scare. Face huggers are the only things that got me in this game so far. But that one was pretty good. I would say that would pretty probably be my top number one jump scare for this game. At the current moment. Alright. Freaks of nature, that's all they are. Created. If we're gonna go by... Oh, shit. If we're going to... Follow Alien Covenant. Created by an android named... It was Michael, wasn't it? Oh, shit. I forgot what the android's name was in Prometheus and Alien Covenant. It was Michael, wasn't it? Or was it a different name? Anyways. He's who created these horrific beings. At first, we thought it was the engineers, but I guess the engineers... I mean, I guess you could say the engineers somewhat created them. But I guess... It took uh, Michael to actually perfect them. Alright, and are there going to be more freaky ass jump scares? The only thing that sucks about this thing is that it's giving me readings, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to jump through that broken glass. Alley -oop. Ooh, a weight area. Some cardio equipment. I see you, bitch. Thought I heard something on my right. There he goes. Thought I heard something on my right. All right, any more of you in here? You shall not disrespect the gym. Not natural. No shit, they're not. And like I've said in a uh, previous episode, this seems like the aliens. I guess it's because they are they're constantly running towards you because they're you know just killing machines. But it's like, it seems like the aliens are easier to kill than those stupid, Waylon Waylon Utani. Um, military guys. It's like, even though I have my life sights lined up on them, it's like the shots somehow don't register sometimes. And I thought when I was playing this on the 360 back in the day, it just might have been because, you know, I'm using a controller, so and I'm not very good at aiming with the controller like I am with a keyboard and mouse, but just doing this here with keyboard and mouse is kind of proving my point that I think the game... I don't know. I, I, I'm guessing the game... If it... Oh, shit. If the game had all of the uh, Gearbox employees that was vested into this instead of having them pull off the project to go do Borderlands, we probably might would have had a better product, maybe. But that's just probably just me just complaining. But if anyone else feels the same way, uh, please let me know. 
All right, so before we go there, oh, never mind. That's just back to the gym area. All right, cutscene. Stone, they're gone. Elizabeth. Both of them. I was too late. One of those monsters got to her, and then these corporate bastards killed them both. You can still make it out, Elizabeth. Head for clear. Get the message out. I don't have much time left. They're gonna pay. They're all gonna pay. Get clear. Elizabeth, what are you gonna do? I'm blowing up the ship. Elizabeth! Elizabeth, do you read? Elizabeth! What the hell's going on? It's Elizabeth. She's planning on blowing up the legato. Can she pull that off? She's resourceful. And she sounds pretty damn driven. If she blows that ship while we're still tethered, she'll end up taking us down with her. Meet me on the starboard weapon deck. I've got an idea. Okay, so I guess our side of, or at least for Stone, his side of the story now is getting them to the other side before Lizbeth blows up, takes down um, the, sh the Legato. Is it, was it Legato? Is that what it's called? Grab this armor and let's get ready. Thought I heard it. Oh shit! Hey, look at that. This gun is way off. I think maybe it's just this type of gun because it seems like the pulse rifle is more accurate with the shooting. Come on. Whoa! Oh shit. Yeah, don't stand out in the middle of the open when we're trying to reload, dummy. Want some? Get some! Oh, who else is shooting? Someone's gotta be alive because the music's still gone. Two are alive, that I can see. I'll grab that real quick. That's what that guy anyone or not. Alright, he's dead. And the other guy, is he over here? Who else is left? Somebody has to be left because the music's still going, but until someone shows face, I guess we will collect what we can really quick. There's a room over here, see if there's anything in here. Yup, oh, there's the armor. More ammunition, load up. Load that up really quick, even though it's a shitty ass weapon. I will take that. Pistola ammo. Can we pick these up? No, those are for shotguns. Why are they showing me shotgun ammo if my character doesn't even have a damn shotgun? Unless I'm supposed to pick up a shotgun somewhere eventually. I'm reading people, but I don't see people. All right. So it looks like we're full up on pulse rifle ammo now. Anyone else? Anybody else want some? Oh shit. Oh. Like Akili said in Troy, is there anyone else? 
Oh, guess I'm out of grenades. Come on. Alright, that's one down. Not sure if I got him or not. Now he's down. Grab that. Nope, that's full. That. That. And there's not like there's any collectibles since we already found everything, so. Oh. Damn. Killed a whole line of them. One got away, though. Not anymore. He did. I can't pick any of that up. Is there anyone else who challenges me? Anyone? Anyone? Turn off our light real quick. How the hell did he not get killed point blank? Come on. There you go. Are you really? Because... Come on. Oh shit. Come on. Come on, let me... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. You're not Tom Arnold, okay? That pole's not gonna protect you. True lies reference, in case anyone did not get that. Now there's full armor What's right there. ETA? I got way you forces dug in. Hang tight. Grenades for the pulse rifle. Oh shit, that's just a turret gun. Never mind. I thought that was an actual person. Alright, so now we gotta sneak around that turret, which shouldn't be too hard to do if it can't see us. Pull on armor. Oh! He's down. At first I thought that was a turret, because I just saw a red light. Alright, you're disabled. Where to? That way. Nothing there. So, what's the plan? The way I see it, there's no way we're getting near the umbilical to separate the ships. But if you that? That shots from here could cut the tether. Roll the legato clean. You paint the targets. I'll fire the ordnance. Who's that? Is that other is that another Marine? Or Oh that's Hicks, okay. I was about to say. Oh, don't wanna light up our boy. So we're trying to help get the fuck out of here. Along with ourselves. Before we get our before we get a bullet in our brain by Mr. Bishop. Alright, so before that... Okay, fuck it. Alright, let's go. Ooh, we get to play with some big guns, huh? Or is it just a... Or is it just a... FMB scene? Okay, never mind. We're just watching. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Okay, so I'm guessing... oh. Almost there. Okay, so I'm guessing there's not going to be much of a challenge to this. Just do it and go. Last one. We're free and clear. 
I don't got all day. Sever the umbilical without missing. Oh, okay. Never mind. I didn't even know that was an achievement for this. I guess I got it the first time around. And that's when so and so met her faith. Her fate with the second most painful chestburster death I've ever witnessed. Come on, let's get off. Say la vie. All right, now where we're going there, Mr. Hicks. Oh shit, you're right behind me. I thought you were already ahead of me. Lead the way, Corporal. Since you're still technically under military. With whatever's left. green so I thought maybe I'd go in there but I guess not going up more down never mind Alright, so are we going to just be dealing with Xenos down in here now? Or more Wailing Goons? It's so scary. Perfect place for aliens. Yep. Something picking up. Yep, aliens. Yeah, you go first there, guy. I will close this behind us, just to, uh, you know, for precautionary measures. Oh, what the fuck just happened? That was weird. My game got kicked back to my desktop for a moment. Alrighty. The first time that's actually happened, but at least the game didn't crash like it did when I first played, uh this DLC. Alright, I'm hearing scary sound. Oh! These are not the oh shit! Ow! And Hicks is down, no surprise. Kia, bitch! I meant to say Kia, but it just came out as Alright, any health back here? No? Okay. Damn it! We're cut off. Well what did you think? It would be simple? Oh yeah, sure, I'll go into the tunnels. Where all the scary creepy shit is gonna be. Oh, oh, that's what he's talking about. So, where the hell do you want me to go? What tunnels? You mean down here? Or over here, I should say? I will probably take that as a yes. I'll say, why am I stuck? All right, the scanner's not picking up anything at the moment. Nothing behind us. I will take that armor though. Yeah. Of course. Great, let's go. Kind of goddamn busy right now. I got it. You're welcome. Are you fine down there, Hicks? I hear... I hear aliens. Wait. How am I supposed to get back across? Or was I supposed to do something else? 
Hold on. Ah. Okay, there we go. Oh shit. Ow, motherfucker! That made no sense. How was he able to pounce in air through that shaft? Oh shit! Yeah, just stand there, ass fuck. Oh! Yeah, just stand there, ass fuck, while I do all the fighting. You know, it's cool. Now I gotta go through this shit all by myself. This is some bullshit. Oh, yeah, you're gonna stay behind. Alright. Any creepy aliens want to play? Because I don't feel like playing today. I'm just wandering around aimlessly, just trying to find my way out of here so we can get ourselves the fuck out. Creepy, creepy tunnels. Aliens and tunnels don't mix. At least for the player, that is. And I have a feeling that something's gonna come around the corner and scare the shit out of my ass. Okay. Surprisingly, that actually... Wait, dude, how the fuck did you... Oh, wait. So what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Wait, how the fuck? What? That made no sense. How the fuck did you end up in one area, then work? Eh, whatever. Oh wait, hold on. Are we supposed? No. Is he waiting on me or? Wait a second. Did I just go in a big ass? Or am I going the right way? Okay, I guess I went the right way, but how the hell did he end up over there? Get two pieces. Get fucked up, bitch. Oh shit! Ow, ow, you scratched me, you son of a bitch! That hurt! Fucking a-hole. You scratched me, you a-hole. Where'd you go? I heard hissing. Alright. My pinky's cramping up a little bit. Get knocked, get pushed back. Switch guns real quick. So I'm starting to run out of ammo on my pulse rifle. Okay, this oh, this chapter is actually decently length, so I'm not gonna complain. The first one with Elizabeth was kind of short, but I get it because half of it was is stealth anyways versus actual combat. All right. Who else wants to come out and play? Yay. Let me see if there's anything like armor or ammo. Nope. Oh shit. I do like how they at least give you a heads up to push the melee button even when you can't see the aliens. He's an ugly SOB. At least these uh or maybe they do, but at least these aliens don't have like the whole acid splatter action upon death like they did in um the Aliens vs Predator PC game first one 
I forgot if they had the uh, splash damage in the second one or not. And I don't think splash damage is really a concern in the... I'm not sure if you would call it a re reboot, the AVP game that came out for the 360 PS3 era and PC. All right, where are we going? Oh, how the hell? See, that's what I don't get. How the hell are you here now? After I just went through all the bullshit. See, that's some fucking horse shit, man. You're the fucking Marine here. You're supposed to be going out and sacrificing yourself. I'm the civilian here. All right, where to, where to? I'm gonna pop up behind us or what? Let me get this med kit because I think shit's gonna go down once we push that button. These things are made for orbital hops, not long runs. Looks like we're still oh, in range might. of Purina 161, but she's gonna need more fuel in order to make the haul. I'll get the fuel flowing. You load the flight data. Of course, I'm gonna go do the work while the NPC chills back and relaxes. Chillaxes. Alright. Nothing close by yet. Pulse rifle really quick. I would really like to get some extra ammo. Alright, so this alien's just fucking with us. Oh, it's just to give us the indication that aliens are going to be coming very soon. Oh shit! Stop playing with me, you son of a bitch! I ain't got time for your shit right now. I just wanna go about my day, turn on these pumps, and get the fuck out of here. I like the, uh, like the tone is perfectly with the game sessions, uh, aliens. I mean, I guess it's mostly an action game, but to add like a slight horror concept to it is always fucking amazing. And escape the Sulaco. Alright, now shit's about to go down. Where are you, creepies? Aha! Ah! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Where'd you go, punk ass bitch? I'm not done with you yet. This is like the calm before the storm. Alright, so they're going through the vents. Ow, motherfucker! Stop spitting your acid jizz all over me. He's dead. Alright, who else wants some? Shit! Ah, <sighs> shit. Even these alien action games still manage to get my heart racing. But sometimes it has some horrific scare tactics to it. Especially when it doesn't help when I can hear like the sounds all around me, but they're but the aliens aren't present. That's a real mind fucker right there. Alright. Running, 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 running. They're all over! Ow! He's still 
Look at me! Son of a bitch, get off me! Alright, so it sounds like Hicks needs my help now. It's a fucking firefight now! Oh shit! God damn it! Stop pouncing on me! They're dead, okay? Can we go now? Kill all the lurkers in Sulaco Engine. Oh! So the ones that pounce on you are called lurkers? Oh! So, oh, okay, so I'm the one who got stuck getting fucked by the aliens while he's over here dealing with these a-holes. Let me switch to my fucking pulse rifle. Wait up, ass fuck. No shit. I shot him in his dick. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. You mean by cover you by doing all the work? Like just I just did? Fighting. Where you at, Hicks? Alright, so I guess we are temporarily cleared. Okay, I'll push the button. Hicks, we're clear. Great, now let's go. Alright. So this must be the end of this chapter then, probably. Well, looks like a two-day haul before we hit Furina. I grabbed this deck of cards from the crew quarters. Outstanding. Oh shit, so we're actually landing on Fury 161. So is Aliens, Colonial Marines basically taking place during and after the events of Alien 3 then? Because I thought Aliens, Colonial Marines was supposed to be in between Alien and Aliens. Or Aliens and Alien 3. Ripley! What's this going to achieve? Think of all we could learn from it. You must let me have it. It's a magnificent specimen. No! No. So I guess that's how they capture hits then. Next time on Alien Colonial Marines! Alright, not gonna try and fall for it that time. At first I thought, how the fuck are they shooting through, shooting down below me from the roof? Unless they... No, there's no way they could have ran down the stairs that fast. Yeah, see? They just randomly just showed up. Watch my six, yep. Lock me out. Can you get past security? Please. Meh. <laughs> Damn it. Get off me, you son of a bitch. 